This video is for people that are looking for an inexpensive camera kit that's below $500. What I'm filming on right now is the Panasonic GX85 and the Panasonic 25mm 1.7. I think it's the perfect budget-friendly combo for filmmaking. So the GX85 is a small mirrorless camera that's from the Panasonic Lumix lineup. It shoots 4K 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and it also does 1080 60 frames per second. The camera is equipped with a Micro Four Thirds sensor, which is a bit smaller of a sensor, and you're able to adapt plenty of lenses to it. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Panasonic 25mm 1.7. The lens itself is very sharp, one of the sharpest lenses I've ever used, and it's also one of the smallest, most compact lenses that I've ever used. One thing that's blown me away on the 25mm is the close focusing. It can focus as close as 9.84 inches. Since it is a 1.7 aperture, you can really drown out the background with this lens especially when you combine it with its close focusing capabilities. Panasonic is known for their somewhat flawed continuous autofocusing capabilities because of the contrast based decision that they went with. Manual focus is great, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Because of the small and compact size of the lens, you're able to keep both hands under the camera body while pulling focus. This in combination with the GX85's IBIS makes it really easy to stabilize your shot. The 25 millimeter lens has a 46 millimeter filter thread. The great thing about smaller filter threads is that you can always use step up rings to get your desired filter onto the lens. So right now I'm using a 46 to 58 and then a 58 to 77 millimeter step up ring. That way I can adapt my variable ND filter. Just a quick side note, it's always a good idea to get a bigger filter than you need and use step up rings to adapt to that filter to your smaller filter thread size. The biggest selling point is the price of both of these pieces of equipment. You are able to find secondhand GX85 bodies for a very reasonable price. You can probably find a body for 300 bucks. In the 25 millimeter, you're able to find for around 120 to $150 used. If you're looking to pick up a very inexpensive camera kit, I think this is the one to go with the GX85 with the Panasonic 25mm. This camera is capable of producing some really amazing images. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and like this video, that would really help me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.